बुरा वक्त कभी भी दरवाजे पे दस्तक देके नहीं आता है बस आ जाता है यू नो बैड टाइम्स दे डोंट कम नॉकिंग दे जस्ट अराइव ऑन योर डोर एंड देर इज नथिंग यू कैन डू अबाउट इट एंड दैट्स द रीजन यू नो बड़े बुजुर्ग कहते हैं आ ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स आ पेरेंट्स दे कीप सेइंग स्टार्ट सेविंग सम मनी फॉर द बैड टाइम्स यू नो व्हेन वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर करियर uh that is a phase of not just new opportunities but that's also a phase of taking on some financial responsibilities right so saving money early on can set the stage for your financial security you can make some future investments and secure your future right it's a very good habit to develop very early on in your life hello everyone this is sonia you with me on thinking out loud thursdays and we are having coffee yes i hope your cup is there with you so before i start i hope you've subscribed to my channel please follow me as i keep bringing in such interesting episodes right now for today i want to talk about um a habit that if we develop very early on in our lives we can actually reap the benefits in the long term right start saving money now when we starting our career you know we are very excited when every month we get the ting in our bank account and we get a message saying your salary has been credited you know that becomes like a happiest day right in our corporate life that is one of our happiest day when we see that the salary has been credited right and that's when we start swiping our card and spending money here there left right center and mostly i've seen people have this habit of spending money and then whatever little money gets left in the bank they say okay this is our saving that's a very wrong practice you should rather be putting the money that you have to save first out and then start spending money whatever is the balance that is left out right so let's look at how you can save money early on in your career make that as a habit be consistent about it how can you do that there were few things i have done they worked for me see if that works for you also okay they work for you also right now first you need to know is what is your detailed budget first make your budget so for example if you've just started your career say your monthly salary after tax everything gets deducted is say Fifty thousand rupees. Now, in that fifty thousand, what are your expenses that you're going to be taking care of in the whole month? So, if you're staying with your parents, you're certainly not paying the monthly rent. You're not paying for the electricity. You're not paying for a water bill or uh, any other bill that that is pertaining to the house because your parents are taking care of it. But it's always nice to contribute some money towards that. maybe you can even if you can't give more you can at least give say 5000 they will like it they will love that gesture of yours because they will not ask you for money they they very happy that you you're standing on your feet and you're earning you are taking on with your life you're moving forward forward you're progressing in your life they are the most happiest people with you right but it's a nice gesture if you start contributing 5000 or 2000 whatever money that you can do or one day when you coming from the market you buy you know vegetables and you bring or some groceries that you can order for your mom but at least start contributing but if you're not doing that it's okay no problem initially that's fine but say if your parents are living in uh, delhi and you're living in mumbai or you're living in bangalore and so you have your rent that you have to pay you have your daily living expenses like your groceries milk sugar tea coffee your uh, dal rice everything lentils everything that you're buying so which is your kitchen grocery items then you are also taking if you've got somebody to clean the house and you're paying that maid also then you have your if you've got a bike then you're taking care of your fuel and maintenance but if you're not having any vehicle of yours and you're taking public transport then you know how much are you spending every month to go to work then come back and then if you're going out partying then what is the budget for your uh kind of lifestyle that you're leading you've got you going to the gym or um, some other habits that you have which you should not have maybe smoking and drinking if you're doing don't do it but if you're doing it then um, you need that also because that's part of your monthly expenses that you're incurring right so uh make a detailed budget as to where all your money is going in right even if it's your saving your expenses wherever fixed variable put everything in that right keep something for miscellaneous tomorrow if anything comes up 
<coughs> and you have to spend money do that so once you've made a detailed budget in that budget set your saving goals which brings us to the next point set your savings goal for the month now at my time when i started my career i never knew about savings at all because my father used to take care of it like he used to invest money in fds and he created a ppf account for me and every year the money was put in that and then he started taking some uh, local government um, uh, bonds etc invested in that right nscs and all but uh, later when his health was little not well and i then took over then i started continuing that practice of saving that much of money and that's the reason i could probably take a long career break and i could think about what i want to do next right but um, that i could only do when i had my savings in place right so start saving money start having goals that you want to save money now i follow a principle which has worked very well for me see if it works for you as well so a 50 30 20 rule <clears throat> where it says that your 50% of your salary so for example if your salary is 50000 out of that 25000 you are spending on your living expenses now living expenses are what living expenses are your rent your electricity your water your telephone bill your tv subscriptions that you've taken your kitchen groceries your fuel cost your bike maintenance or pub, whatever public transportation cost that you're taking so all that becomes your living expenses without which you cannot survive today so that becomes your living expenses now to a 30% is your lifestyle expense which means over and above your daily living here and there you are taking care of whatever things that you aspire to do or whatever gives you happiness further on say you're doing some shopping online you are going to parties you are taking a holiday you've taken so wherever you're doing you've taken a gym membership so all that becomes part of your uh, lifestyle expenses now supposing you've got 10 subscriptions like you've got amazon prime you've got netflix you've got disney hotstar you've got uh, Di- discovery so if there are so many channel subscription like app subscriptions you've taken that is a lifestyle that doesn't become your daily uh, living but if you've got only one subscription that can become your you know daily uh, living but your uh, other subscriptions become part of your lifestyle right and then the 20% of your salary <clears throat> becomes your savings now i can understand if the salaries are less you can make that 20% as 15% but don't go below 15% and make it a goal <coughs> that every quarter you going to increase that 15% to 16 17 19 and then 20 so hold it 20 but as your salary is increasing today you are a say a trainee then you become a junior executive then senior executive then you become a manager then senior manager then general manager so as your salary is increasing as you are growing in your life financially also start increasing the money that you are investing because see your lifestyle expenses might increase but your daily expenses might remain the same right so start increasing maybe that 20% over a period of 10 years you can make it as 25% right so start making those saving goals that's for your own benefit and start automate um, automate your savings that brings me to the next time which is to say next point which is to say pay yourself first so the moment your salary comes into your bank account that ting message that you're getting that okay salary has been credited before you get excited to start swiping your cards put some money out for yourself which means if you have taken up say systematic investment plan of any bank account or any mutual fund that you're taking in have an auto debit from your account so that automatically that money gets debited and gets paid towards your future towards your saving and then whatever money is left is for your daily expenses or for your monthly expenses first pay yourself and then pay for the other things that are around you that are taking care of your day to day living right now once you've done that uh, another habit that you can pick up is reduce your unnecessary expenses now like i said i'll give you the same example do you really need 10 app subscriptions 
or do you need only two? Why you want to buy all for one year a subscription? Why can't you just do monthly subscriptions? So today, if you're watching Disney Hotstar, tomorrow you might want to switch to Netflix or have just two applications, and then maybe every three months you can just uh, buy other subscriptions and stop these subscriptions. Or between friends, you can just buy two, 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 two subscriptions, and everybody can share. If that is allowed, if that is part of your subscription uh, manual where two people or three people can share, then do that. You know, it, it's a win-win situation for all, and you know, you don't have to block your entire money into taking all subscriptions where you're not watching all uh, channels. Also, right? So start reducing. If you're a shopping freak, can you always on Amazon, Mintra, all of the uh, Nike and all shopping all the time? Then best would be. Start putting things that you are impulsively looking at. Put it in the cart. Leave it in the cart for one week, ten days, and after that, revisit your cart to say whether this is required. And trust me, it happens with me. I used to be a very impulsive buyer online, and then I started realizing when the things used to come, I don't need this. Why did I buy this? So then, what I started doing was that I used to put it in the cart. After week, ten days, I used to go to the cart, see. Okay, delete, delete, not needed, not needed, and eventually only those three, four items used to be left which I really needed, and then I used to proceed for checkout on that app, right? So start doing that because don't do impulsive shopping what you don't need, um, and think about it before you uh, indulge into these unnecessary expense verticals, right? So start uh, controlling that urge of spending money here and there where it's not needed, right? Next, avoid high interest debt. Now we all have credit cards, and the beauty of the credit card is that you are spending today, but you're going to pay after 30 days when your bill is generated. And after your bill gets generated, you get another grace period of one or two weeks to make the payment. So when uh, you are making the payment, make sure that you're paying your credit card bills on time. Because if you don't, then that same facility that you're very proud of that i don't need to pay today but if you don't pay on time you're going to be paying a very hefty interest and that is going to pinch you and that you're paying from your own monthly budget so don't put reminders in your phone that you have to pay your credit card bill the moment your credit card bill is generated and you have a 15 day window 5 days before that put a reminder in your phone pay your credit card bill so that you're able to pay your credit card bill on time with that your credit rating goes up and if your credit rating is very good tomorrow you want to take up any loan from the bank for your house or for a car that you're buying it is very easy you get a better rate of interest right so please avoid these high interest debts they are not good for you they're not healthy for your financial uh, health they're not uh, yeah they're not good for you right so next is invest wisely now there are so many options available in the market to invest you can invest in crypto you can invest in shares you can take mutual fund you can take sip you can make a fd you can take ppf now there is so many options available where do you go and invest money now for that Uh, figure out a portfolio manager your bank manager uh, figure out how other people are investing money or best just go to google or go to youtube there are so many videos people have outlined how best what options are much better if you want to invest where you want to get higher returns but there are higher risks understand what what are those risks and if you're okay with those risks then take the jump take the leap into investing there if you want to invest very safely invest in an fd take uh, sips or mutual uh, like safe bet mutual funds you can invest i mean like don't go by what i'm saying in terms of where you need to invest these things have worked for me but see what works for you and then accordingly invest wisely look at what are the risk factors where uh, the market might go up and down is it hampering your investment drastically are you ready to take that risk are you wanting to jump in that water accordingly take a call and do that but do invest you need to invest so that because if you start investing early on you know it'll help your money grow significantly over time trust me about it right Now next is your leverage employer benefits. Now 
every company that you work for has provident fund feature right so for example if your provident fund that is getting deducted is say 1500 and then there is a employer contribution of 1500 as well right but check with your company if you can increase your 1500 to say 2000 now 500 will not make a difference right so see if that can be done if the company does it which is good but that also becomes part of your saving cycle but it doesn't mean that if you make it 2000 the company will also make it 2000 company will still keep it as 1500 but that 2000 becomes your additional saving that you're doing as well and when you're shifting companies when you're shifting from one company to the other don't withdraw your pf get it transferred so keep transferring your provident fund from one company to the other because then after 10 20 years when you're withdrawing that pf that becomes a huge amount and that makes a lot of difference see that's the reason in armed forces and government services your provident fund when a person has served for say 30 years and is retiring today he gets a huge chunk of money because of which maybe they're able to buy a house they're able to get their kids married or they're able to send their kids for further education so that money is a huge chunk which you don't realize because it's like to say that every drop of water tomorrow turns into a bigger ocean is it contributes to a bigger ocean right so today your small 2000 rupees every month will tomorrow over period of time will become lakhs and lakhs of money right so start investing and uh, invest wisely look at where you want to invest leverage on the employer benefits that are being given and lastly i want to talk about is track your expenses because if you're not going to be tracking where you're spending money every now and then then you won't know ki kharcha kahan ja raha hai paise kahan ja rahe hain salary aise khatam kaise ho rahi hai you know you don't maybe you wanted to go for a spa but you look at your bank account and you say oh i don't have that much of money i can't go for my spa right now maybe next month but then for that you need to figure out where all have you spent money so start tracking your expenses because that will help you uh realize where all unnecessarily you are spending money where you can curb your uh, expenses and you can uh, divert your expenses into a more meaningful uh, area where uh, it's needed right so uh, remember that saving money is a very gradual it's a slow process it's not something you invest today and suddenly tomorrow you know uh, it's done you don't need to do it tomorrow no month on month you have to keep saving money till you are working and that in turn will give you longer better results because uh, the key is consistency keep be consistent at saving money month on month year on year uh, save money and these small steps that you take today can lead to a significant financial growth for you and of course peace of mind because you know that you have some money in your bank and so tomorrow if there is any unfortunate incident comes in you're not prepared for it you can handle it because you know that you have some savings in your bank account which is going to sail you through those through those bad times you know bura waqt agar aayega to thoda sa if you have money in your account you will not be that stressed about it so it's going to take care of your peace of mind right so on that note i'm going to end my thinking out loud thursdays i hope you enjoyed this episode and i'm going to continue bringing in a series of these financial uh, money saving uh, episodes so look out for more uh. enjoy your day and i get back to my coffee have a great day everyone bye bye